Good morning, y'all. <laughs> Good morning, you all. I always sound country when I say y'all. Y'all. Uh, <laughs> I ain't messing with y'all. Uh, God bless y'all. Uh, wake up. <laughs> I ain't messing with y'all. Uh, y'all keep on taking y'all's time. One day at a time. I love that. You got to take your time, girl. <laughs> like that, you're going to... <laughs> crazy. <laughs> you got to take your time. And listen, y'all keep on taking y'all's time. One day at a time. <laughs> little by little. Uh, keep that in mind. Not everything going to be done for you at one time. All right? You got to take the good with the bad, my brothers or sisters, because you can't have one without the other. All right? You can't have ups without downs, uh, fouls without free throws. Daytime without nighttime. <laughs> you experience this every 24 hours. All right? You got 12 hours a day, and then you got 12 hours a night. Sometimes things going to be sunny and smooth, <laughs> and sometimes they're not. All right? Listen. I know you want to be in the sunshine, all that good stuff where, where you can see what's going on. Hmm. Not all the time. There's a big reason for the nighttime moments. Uh, I love the fact stars only shine at night. I, I love to go outside every night when, when the sky clear, you can see the stars shining so bright. Hmm. Why are they beautiful? Uh, many of y'all, y'all don't even go outside look at the stars. Y'all too busy on the Instagram or whatever you're looking at, uh, TikTok or something. I don't know. Hmm. Go outside look at the stars every once in a while, man. Look at the sky. they beautiful. Why Anyway, stars only shine at night. A lot of y'all want to shine. Y'all want to shine in the daytime. Only the only the S U N, really the really the S O N, <laughs> shines in the day. Listen, <laughs> you gonna get your shine time in that night in the darkest hours of your life when stuff ain't looking so bright. <laughs> you can shine like the star in the midst of the night for all to see it. If you allow the process to do what God intends for it to do, you gotta learn how to you gotta learn how to call on God your Father, ask Him to send Jesus Christ to help you. Because he'll get you to a point hmm, of complete dependency of him and him alone. You hear me? It's the reason for what you're going through. Many people, they don't, they don't learn from their lessons, their experiences. Hmm. That's why they, they don't, they're not shining. Hmm. Listen, there's nothing you're going through right now that you can't learn from, all right? Especially in the darkest hours of your life when you can't see what's going on. God, God will light the sky for you. Hmm. He'll light it up. You hear me? Hmm. Uh, yeah, it's, uh, it's the reason hmm, for daytime and nighttime. Uh, you can't have one without the other. You just keep on breathing. Inhale, exhale. Okay. <clears throat> All glory, honor, and praise go to my Father in heaven, Lord Jesus, and the sweet Holy Spirit. Got to give credit, honor, and glory to who is due. Amen. Uh, today, Monday. Uh, don't nobody talk to me. <laughs> uh, Monday, February 26, 5.06. AM 2024. The best is yet in store. I love to be up <laughs> while the majority of y'all snore. <laughs> what you up so early for, bro? Listen, God allowed me to go to sleep early. I wake up early. <laughs> Why? Why you wake up so late? <laughs> all right, listen, if, if you don't stay up all night, fellas chasing the females, you can get up early. Mm -hmm. Sisters, if you don't stay up all night chasing the brothers, you can get up early. Mm -hmm. What you stand up for? You waiting on that phone call? Don't never come through. You wait until 2 or 3 o'clock in the morning. Somebody call you. Man, if you don't go to sleep, sister, get some rest, wake up. <laughs> if somebody, if they was going to be there, they, they would have been there. All right, listen. What you up all night for? Try and make this. Look, it's going to come. Try to, the more you try to force stuff, the harder you fall, man. You can go hard today, and it'll all be over tomorrow. Man, I'm going to take my time through life. You hear people, how you doing this? Material things, how you doing this, doing that? I'm going to take my time, because you can... Put all your energy into this thing. It, it can be gone tomorrow. All right. Hmm. That's life. <sighs> enjoy yourself. Many people, they, they don't, they're not enjoying themselves, man. I don't understand it. Hmm. I got a lot of stuff be going on. Hmm. And as much as bull crap be going on, man, I just, just wake up. That's why I stay in the Lord as much as I do. You hear me? I told you, you got to fall in love with something. Intern. Hmm. A lot of stuff people doing is extern. Hmm. Relationships. Hmm. Job, career, money, hmm, this and that, whatever. All these, all these things are external. Hmm. I love to read. You know, reading is, is mental. It's a spiritual thing. It helps your mind. Hmm. People who like to write. It's a mental thing. It helps your mind. You gotta fall in love with something internal. Hmm. All right. Uh, and when you fall in love with something internal, hmm, they can't take that away from you, man. You hear me? Hmm. All right. But uh, I love it. Uh, anyway, if I go somewhere else, yeah. <clears throat> Where's me going to me? I don't know. It's early in the morning. Uh, 
Oh, yeah. That's, <laughs> I like to be up while y'all snore. <laughs> if you didn't get you one of these, you should have got you one before. <laughs> Uh, after this month, I can't print out no more, but I got a few more. I got more stuff coming out, so it's okay. Maybe not today, maybe not tomorrow, but in due time. Uh, it's a nice book. I got like 10, 10 copies left, though. It's a nice book called Knowledge from God Almighty, Volume 1, by some dude named Devontae Farmer, whoever he is. Nice book, nice name, <laughs> but don't know book place to buy it here. <laughs> uh, every time I grab this book, I, I love to show this. <laughs> I missed that one right there, man. God bless, sir. Yeah, I, I can't wait. To, I can't wait to go to paradise and get out of this place called Earth, cause that here people be tripping. Man. <laughs> yeah, some of y'all got loved ones that passed on to the other side. They living life. Yeah, but down here, it's a struggle. Yeah, when you make it, when you make it through this thing called life and get to the other side, you got it. true. You got to go through some things. But anyway, this book don't replace the Bible. All right. <laughs> If there's any truth, uh, everything you need, you're never going to get step two without taking step one. Step one, taking God's word, okay? Everything you need, can need, will need is found in God's word. And in God's word, alone, understand that uh, word. You're never going to get steps 10, 20, 30 if you don't take step one. A lot of people hmm, be getting ahead of themselves. They're they not taking step one. Hmm. Once you take step one, the rest are coming to you. You, you don't got to be a big student. You don't got to, not everyone's going to be teachers. Not everyone going to have... Hmm, Super stuff to show these people and show this and show that. My great grandma, she wasn't no teacher. Yeah, she wasn't no teacher. My great grandma never opened up the book with me and read a scripture with me. She never did that. Yeah, what she do then? But I say she she lived her life. You know, you can tell people who serious and who not serious by the way they live. You hear me? A little kid can tell if daddy or mama serious about this, about that. They can tell, man, who's serious about certain stuff. My great grandma had a light. You hear me? And all she did was let her light shine. I know, I know, if not anything, she was serious about Jesus. You hear me? She, she, why? That's one thing. And I thank God for that. You hear me? Because many people, you don't, you wouldn't know. The animals in creation, I told you, you don't need, a, you don't got to be super smart. We speak, you know, we got we got the gift of talking. You go outside, look at the animal, they don't talk. But that that bear, that little, that little bear, the, the cub, it learns from his mother of what to do, what not to do. That little lion, it learns from his from the parents what to do, what not to do. Listen, the all they got to do is look and watch. You hear me? You look and watch, you learn. Most of the people... It was this old guy. I was at uh, the candle factory. Dude, was like sixty. He was like sixty. He had to be 60, 60 or seventy, man. Dude was old, but, but dude was moving though. Listen, we're in the candle factory, moving these boxes. Everyone grabbing one box at a time. Man, old dude grabbing three of them at one time. He's showing the young dudes up. Dude, he, I'm telling you, he was like sixty to or seventy, man. He was kind of old, but he was still young though. Word, everyone grabbing one box. This dude grabbing three. <laughs> I said, man, I said, I asked, I said, man, I said, how old are you, sir? He said 60-something. He, he got to be like 70 by now. He said, uh, I said, I said, what, what you be doing, man? He said, just got to stay humble, man. Put you keep, keep something. He, he, he said something about God. I said, that's it. I said, I, I said, I like you, man. Word. Word. Old oh, dude was wild. <laughs> but he was, he was moving, though. You see what I'm saying? You can learn just from watching. You don't got to talk. You see what I'm saying? You can learn a lot from just by looking around. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? You ain't got to speak. But you can tell who's serious, who ain't serious, <laughs> who BS and who ain't BS. And my great grandma was serious, and I, 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 I always want to honor and appreciate that. Uh, but she won't no teach this and that. Not everyone gonna be teachers, yeah. <laughs> but she had all she needed. She had step one. <laughs> she took God at His word, and once you take God at His word, <laughs> that's all you need to get through life. Yeah, many people not doing that. They they focus on the world. <laughs> how to get this out the world? How to get that? How to do this? How to do that? Man. <laughs> In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. Uh, it's something about being in God's Word. <laughs> Jesus said, in this world, you're going to have trouble, but in me, you got peace. Jesus Christ is the living Word of God. You can have peace with God <laughs> through Jesus Christ, through the living Word of God. Do you hear me? In any and every single situation, no matter what you got going on, it's something about being this. I ain't just talking about reading the Word. <laughs> I'm talking about letting God's Word dwell in your heart, resonate through your mind and spirit. You must be like Mary. <laughs> Mary chose to sit down at the feet of God and chose to receive his word. <laughs> she had a sister named Martha. She came in hot. She said, 
came in, she was starting to cook and clean. She came, she said, Jesus, don't you care that my sister left me do all the work? Tell her to come and help me. <laughs> Jesus said, Mark, Mark, you are worried and upset about many things. Only few things are required, really only one. <laughs> Mary chosen what's best for her, and it's not going to be taken from her. <laughs> when you choose the best thing for you, <laughs> the world can't take it away from you. Satan and sin can't take it away from you. <laughs> no matter what's going on, I love that. You know, they work. <laughs> I love that right there, man. God will put a joy in your heart. Through his word that that's inexpressible. I wouldn't trade it for nothing. You could not offer me hundreds of millions of dollars. <laughs> what? I'd rather die than give up <laughs> what the Lord gave me. You know what I mean? I'm telling you. Uh, but yeah, you're never gonna get step two until you take step one. Step one, taking God at His word. Okay. You don't need nobody to do this for you. It's something you must do for yourself. If you don't take God at His word, if you don't take God at His word for yourself. Nobody can do this for you. I can't do this for you. You can go sit around all the class you want to sit around and have people around you. You must do this for yourself, okay? Many people looking for external help. This and that. God already placed what you need already. You got the tools right in front of you. You're just not using it. If you don't use it, you're going to lose it, as they say. Nope. Yeah, if you don't use it, you're going to lose it, okay? But anyway, if I keep on rambling. Yeah, everything you need is something in God's word and in God's word alone, okay? If there's any truth in your books, they're going to point you to the Bible, all right? I love to read the Holy Quran. That is a divine inspired word of God, <laughs> revelations from God, given by God Almighty himself to the prophet Muhammad through the angel Gabriel and it points you to the Bible. Y'all ever go see my Quran teaching? I'm in the Bible. They go hand in hand. <laughs> you can't read the Holy Quran without reading the Bible. That's probably why you don't see many people reading the Holy Quran because they don't know how to read their Bible. So I'd advise you to get a Bible and read it. <laughs> okay, where am we going to? Me don't know. Me don't know. It's early in the morning. God bless all of y'all. It's always a blessing, a privilege, and an honor to be able to spend time in this word. I'm telling y'all, um, word, I love that so much, man. You got to fall in love with something internal. <laughs> Many people, they're not doing this. Uh, they're looking for external stuff. That's temporary. Where was me going to me? Don't know. Go to. It was something I was going to say, but it slipped my mind. Uh, I don't know what I was going to say. Uh, go to Psalms 20. Uh, verse 1, Brother David said, May the Lord answer you when you are in distress. May the name of the God of Jacob protect you. May he send you help from the sanctuary. And grant you support from Zion. Uh, I think I remember what I was gonna say. Yeah, you got you got to hang on to God through everything. If you got God, your father, and hang on to Him, stand His word. The world and stuff will break down, mm -hmm. but you are gonna be together. Uh, all hell could break loose. You can have peace in the middle of hell, mm -hmm. just like Jesus calmed the storm down. You can have peace in the middle of a storm, cause you are gonna go through some storms down here in life. That's why I hang on to the Lord the way I do. I don't got no one to my left, no one to my right. Many people need people. They they need some type of outside comfort. You see, external. You need some type of ex, external comfort from this person, that person. God give you everything you need, man. Everyone can leave me today or tomorrow. I'm going to be fine. Do you hear me? Because like I am. God said, be content, with, be content with what you got. He said, never will I leave you. Never will I forsake you. I love that. People can come and go, man, but God always for you. You hear me? And I love that. Uh, money come and go. Mm -hmm. I done been up. I done been down. Mm -hmm. God always been around. Mm -hmm. I love that. You hear me? People come and go, but God, ain't, he don't never leave. You see what I'm saying? I love that. I wouldn't trade it for nothing, man. That's what you need to capture that, my brother. Because when you got that, you can make it through this crazy world. All right? Because <laughs> it get a little chaotic at times. All right. But anyway, may the, uh, Psalms 20 verse 1 say, may the name, uh, may the Lord answer you when you are in distress. May the name of, may the name of the God of Jacob protect you. May he send you help from the sanctuary and grant you support from Zion. May he remember all your sacrifices and accept your burnt offerings. May he give you the desire of your heart. Amen. And make all your plans succeed. May we shout for joy over your victory and lift up our banners in the name of our God. May the Lord grant all your requests. <laughs> now this I know, the Lord gives victory to his anointing. <laughs> he, answer, he answers him from his heavenly sanctuary 
with the victorious power of his right hand. Some trust in chariots and some in horses, but we trust in the name of the Lord our God. Amen. I love that. They are brought down. They are brought to their knees and fall. But we rise up and stand firm. Amen. Lord, give victory to the king. Answer us when we call. I love that. Y'all got to learn how to call on God your father. Ask him to send Jesus Christ to help you. And I hope he bless you. Lord, for all y'all who truly call on him. And maybe not doing this. But may the Lord bless you and grant all your requests, brothers, sisters, whoever that's for. Uh, not every prophetic word for everybody can be. Uh, but may he bless you. <laughs> and when you're in distress, when you call on him, I hope he answers you. <laughs> right. Let me tell you a story about the woman and the dragon. Uh, do I go there? Yeah, I go there. The woman and the dragon, Revelation chapter 12. I love the fact in the end you see the beginning, and in the beginning you see the end. Mm -hmm. God spoke in Genesis chapter 1. Everything God spoke in Genesis chapter 1, we still waiting on. Mm -hmm. there's, there's some stuff that's happened, but when God speaks, mm -hmm. <laughs> He's a super math. He's a super mathematician. Mm -hmm. Why? Right. He got the highest, the highest level of mathematics mm -hmm. that no one can comprehend. Mm -hmm. uh, he says something, billions of things happen. Mm -hmm. But everything God ever spoke, his every word God ever speaks, uh, it's, it's it's like a parable. He got an earthly meaning, but he got an earthly. He's, he's, he's saying one thing, but it can have like three different uh, implications. Where when God spoke in the beginning, I'm telling you, it's stuff that he spoke about. We still wait. No, God did everything in six days. And on the seventh day, he rested from all his works. You hear that? All his works. So he's not working on, he's not doing that. God always working to this very day, but he been did it. He been did it past that. Past, present, and future. It's 2024. I'm 29 years old. I'm going to be dead in about within 90 years. The lifespan of, of the human being, as the Lord said, his days shall be 120. If you live past 120, you're blessed. But you don't read some, you don't hear about some people living past 120. Okay? God told uh, Noah. Uh, he going to shorten the days of human beings. Before Noah, people was living to be like 800, 900. If you read the book of Genesis, like Genesis 4, 5, and 6, the people was living to be like 800, 600, 500 years old. That's a long time on earth. Yeah? That's a long time. I don't want to be 100. I don't want to be living there with these people forever because these people be tripping. Uh, the quicker the better. Jesus went home at 33. If I die at 33, I'm cool with that, man. I'm ready to go home today. If the Lord would call me, if I, if, if I had a choice, if I said, you want to call me today, I'm gone. I tried to do that y'all so fast. <laughs> so fast. You see my face in the bitch where don't be sad for me. I'm I'm gone. All right? I made about this this place, okay? Ain't no more waking up in this you feel, you feel me? <laughs> you probably don't feel me. You, you, gotta, you gotta come from my perspective. That's what I'm talking about, but I... What are you talking about, man? <laughs> I choose to get away from y'all so fast and get up off this earth until he make it all new <laughs> and then come back. <laughs> but anyway, uh, God spoke in Genesis 1. He said <laughs> he did everything in six days. On the seventh day, he rested. You know, it's 2024. <laughs> uh, so 90 years from now, probably 2,100 or something like that. <laughs> I ain't gonna be alive forever down here. Yeah, but God, we waiting on God to make a new heaven, new earth. He already made it. It's already ready and waiting. You know, guys, we it's time and different from our time. I don't want to hurt your head or whatever, but in the beginning you see the end, and the end you see the beginning. Understand that. Uh, go with me to Revelation twelve, verse one. It say, "A great sign appeared in heaven: a woman clothed with the sun, with the moon under her feet." and a crown of 12 stars on her head. She was pregnant and cried out in pain as she was about to give birth. Then another sign appeared in heaven, an enormous red dragon with seven heads and 10 horns and seven crowns on its head. Its tail swept a third of the stars out of the sky. These stars are, are angels. Its tail swept a third, this enormous, this enormous red dragon, Satan. You know, all over the world in different cultures, the dragon is often 
referred to as Satan. <laughs> look at all look at all the coaches all over the world. <laughs> you know, I don't want to pinpoint people specifically, but you you got eyes. You can type Google on your phone the background, different religions and coaches, whatever. <laughs> Word and everyone, most of them, most some of the people they worship dragons and stuff. <laughs> you go look at China or Japan or something like that. They 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 always symbolizing the dragons. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? Like um. I ain't got no comments on that or whatever. I'm just saying, <laughs> which I still ain't got to be explained. Uh, the mind people, <laughs> they had the temple, that, that mind temple, the stairway, it's like a drag <laughs> coming down and going up. That junk. <laughs> they all, they, it's always dragons all over the world. The world dragon got a different name. It's just like, uh, I told you, uh, <laughs> uh, all over the world, the origin of the word, the words be different, but the origin be the same. Uh, <laughs> As like the word police. We understand the word English is police. You go to Europe, it's policia. Yeah. You go to somewhere, it's policia. Yeah. Mm -hmm. or, or a different word. You understand what I'm saying? But mm -hmm. before I get carried away. But the word, dragons everywhere. Mm -hmm. You see what I'm saying? All in different religions and cultures and backgrounds. Where you look around, you see a dragon somewhere. Mm -hmm. So you see a dragon that represents Satan. All right? An enormous red dragon with seven heads and ten horns. And seven crowns on his head. <clears throat> its tail swept a third, swept a third of the stars out of the sky and flung them to the earth. The stars are the angels. Uh, in this reference right here, the dragon stood in front of the woman who was about to give birth, so, so that it might devour her child. The moment he was born, she gave birth to a son, a male child, who will rule the who will rule all the nations with an iron scepter, and and. Her child was snatched up, snatched up to God and to his throne. The woman fled into the wilderness to a place prepared for her by God, where she might be taken care of for 1,260 days. Then war broke out in heaven, and the end you see the beginning, and the beginning you see the end. Mm -hmm. This is the end of the Bible. We see a reference of what happened at the beginning. Mm -hmm. This dragon fell from heaven, and its tail swept a third of the stars out of the sky. We all know that Lucifer fell from heaven. Mm -hmm. You don't see you don't see when this happened, but it happened in the beginning. Mm -hmm. Why did he fall from heaven? Because he was disobedient and, and rebellious. Mm -hmm. uh, it was something God asked him to do. He didn't do it. Mm -hmm. and he he wanted to be just like God. You hear me? You, he rebelled in the beginning. You don't see this story in Genesis, mm -hmm. but it happened uh, somewhere with, within those six days. All right, because mm -hmm. we know in Genesis chapter three. The, the serpent is in the garden with the man, mm -hmm, with Adam, mm -hmm, okay? But if we don't see the story about him falling in the beginning, mm -hmm, we see it at the end. Mm -hmm. In the end, you see the beginning. In the beginning, you see the end. Mm -hmm. I love how the end of the end give us a, a insight of what happened at the beginning. War broke out in heaven. At once upon a time, there was war in heaven. Then war broke out in heaven. Michael and his angels fought against the dragon. And the dragon and his angels fall back. But he was not strong enough, amen? <laughs> you know? Down here, we always going through some things. Satan always coming up, doing this and doing that. And, you know, they, they sometimes they fight. You know, he fights against the people. But he's not strong enough. Even if you lose, if you were God, you win. You listen to him. All right, understand that. All right. What you mean, man? Death, where is your victory? Even if you lose, you win. Understand that. <laughs> but do they strong enough? All right? <laughs> uh, uh, it ain't no competition. I love the fact God let, he let someone else handle his light work. <laughs> he let Michael handle this. Uh, then war broke out in heaven. Michael and his angels fought against the dragon. It's like how God used Moses. To, he used Moses to go against Pharaoh. He always let. He always let. He always will let someone else handle his light work. It might seem dead to you. Pharaoh was the greatest of all Egypt. He was the greatest in the world at one point in time. No one could stand up to him. He sent Moses to go tell my let my people go. Moses, won, well, he wasn't nobody. But when you were God, you were somebody. You hear me? That nobody is a whole lot compared to the people of the world. Listen, God could use... I, I can't talk about how I'm going to talk on here because I don't want people... I ain't trying to pinpoint people as far as people in power and position, command. Uh, they going to think I'm tripping or whatever, but I really don't care what they think. But uh, God will take someone from off the corner. He'll take a homeless person and, and use them to, to whoop the head... To, to whoop... 
the people with the greatest power. Mm -hmm. You think he can't? Mm -hmm. I'm telling you, he'll do it. Mm -hmm. He a lot of the type of stuff like that. Just just to show where true power rests in. Mm -hmm. True power rests in him. Mm -hmm. You can have all the guns, armies in the world. Mm -hmm. God can take one some one small thing and wipe all and use use him to wipe all y'all out. Mm -hmm. Think he can't? Mm -hmm. uh, but anyway, then war broke out in heaven. Uh, Michael and his angels fought against the dragon, and the dragon and his, and his angels fought back, but he was not strong enough, amen, and they lost their place in heaven. The great dragon was hurled down. Uh, that ancient serpent called the devil, <clears throat> or Satan, who leads the whole world astray. Hmm. Do y'all not see how the world is now? Hmm. Many of y'all don't know, you're being led by one or two things. It's rather you're being led by the Spirit of God, or you're being led by... <laughs> Uh, or you being led by the world, okay? <laughs> Where uh, positive or negative, there's only two things. You hear me? <laughs> and uh, these forces are always trying to. It's like y'all ever see the old TV show? You got the good dude talking on your show, and you got the bad dude on your other show. <laughs> there's always them two things around. Many people they're not paying attention. They just living their life. Some people just getting high, getting drunk. <laughs> they're not even paying attention. But them things, I'm always hit. I'm always paying attention, yeah? <laughs> to the BS be around, dude always, he, he always come around with BS. Jesus led to the wilderness to be tempted by Satan himself. If G, if Satan tried to tempt Jesus, don't, don't doubt for a sake he's not going to try to tempt you. Come around with that bull crap. You hear He did it to Jesus. Listen, if Jesus was not a zen, if Jesus went through some things, listen, I, I love to think, I always love to think about what Jesus went through. You hear me? Because if he went through it, you best believe you're going to go through it too. Okay? There is no one on this earth who is more special than Jesus. Okay? If there's anyone who could have stopped it and could have avoided certain stuff, it would have been him. You hear me? But God let it happen. You hear me? It'd be, a, it'd be for a reason. Uh, Jesus smoked every test with flying colors. All right? Listen, you can too. If you pay attention, many people, they just not pay attention. Okay? Some people, they 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 say they're unaware of something. I don't know. Uh, it's possible you can be unaware, but you want to be, if you don't know what's going on, you, you want to have some type of sense. All right? It ain't no one else's fault if you get tricked. Now, if you see what's going on, if, if somebody's tri tricking you or something, you should call it on by now. You see what I'm saying? Many people, you can't, you can't blame people. Oh, he tricked me. She tricked me. With that. Man, you better wake up and pay attention, especially if you're older. You see what I'm saying? What's your excuse? Uh, many people got many excuses. Uh, you see what I'm saying? But I didn't know. But you should know. You, you too, and you're in La La Land. You better come out of La La Land and come and wake up and see what's going on. You see what I'm saying? Uh... But look around the world. Hmm? TV, hmm? they always promote this love and hip-hop type crap. Hmm? Or this fake love stuff. Hmm? Or material things. They, they blind people materially. Hmm? Where the money, cars, clothes, whatever. They blind people with that. Hmm? Uh, they got a lot of weird stuff going on. They, they entice you. That's the word. People always, Satan always enticing people, leading people astray. Hmm? You know, the people promote bad. They, they, they promote bad over good. Hmm? You just, you just do wrong, the people promote that. Satan promote that. You see what I'm saying? The whole world hmm, conform to that. Doing wrong. This and that. Hmm, just being crazy. You know what I mean? Then the people who got common sense, they look, they make the people who got common sense, they make them like they crazy. Hmm, correct? <laughs> is that not how it go? The people you stand up for a good cause, people, you know what I mean? <laughs> man, you mess with our money, son, bro. Man, that's how it is, bro. You, you understand me? When you got when you stand up for the truth and got a good cause, the people don't like that. Mm -hmm. I don't know why. Well, I do know why, but mm -hmm, because it's a good cause. It's truth. You see what I'm saying? The, the world is currently ran by Satan right now. Mm -hmm. But God, he gave him power to run the world. Mm -hmm. Did he not tell Jesus all this I would give you? Mm -hmm. the, the authority Satan got was given to him by God our Father himself. Mm -hmm. Why is that? God, God always got a plan bigger, bigger than you can understand. Mm -hmm. You hear me? Mm -hmm. All right. God is the grace. Mm -hmm. And he got a plan. He never failed. Even the people who he allowed to be in power, they can't see that they are part of God's plan too. Yeah? God ain't no fool. He know what he's doing. Word. But nevertheless, he has given Satan power to rule temporarily. Word. Uh, that don't mean you got to roll with the world. Nah. 
But I'll let you see where your heart at, truly, who you want to serve. You want to be in the world? You want to be up on this guy? You want to be with them? You can be with them if you want. <laughs> well, you want to live your life with them? Do your thing. <laughs> no, you got free will. <laughs> That's what you want to do. <laughs> Word. God love people who from truly d- devoted to him. You hear him? Over any and everything. It's like them three little whippersnappers, Meshats, uh, Sadrach, and Abednego. <laughs> uh, it was that King Nebuchadnezzar dude. He was the king. <laughs> and Nebuchadnezzar wanted them three boys to bow down to their gold image. <laughs> what did they say? They said, we ain't bowing down to you. <laughs> it, they life was on the line. They said, we ain't bowing down. We want you to know the God we serve is able to rescue us. But even if he don't, yeah, El Shalomana, even if he don't, we ain't bowing down to you. <laughs> You see what I'm saying? God, 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 let the fire come on. He'll, he'll, he'll let the, he'll let you go to the fire to see where you, if you truly pure or not. Hmm? Hmm? That's how you get real gold, baby. You don't know, you don't know you're real unless you try to test it. Hmm? Well, if ever, if you was in La La Land, hmm, where everything going right, hmm, and you never tested and tried, how will you know if you're real or not? Hmm? Until you take a test, and then you see. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? <laughs> Word. You don't you don't know who you are until you try to test it. Mm. God got he he got he know how to he know how to put you through trials and tests. Okay, mm. it's a reason for it. You gotta go. You gotta get tested. You ain't gonna get tested down here. Even the Bible and the Holy Quran say you're gonna get tested. Okay, mm. Abraham was tested. Jesus was tested. Mm. Uh, uh. Anyway, pay attention though, cause this dude say like to lead people astray, and you would get off course if he allowed you to. But if you ain't going to God, you're going to smoke him. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, I believe Jesus said in Luke chapter 10, verse 18, uh, Jesus, Jesus replied, Luke chapter 10, verse 18, Jesus said, I saw Satan fall. Huh? Mm-hmm. I saw Satan fall like lightning from heaven. Mm-hmm. That picture hard. Mm-hmm. I see a, uh, y'all ever see that picture with dude falling back and he really, really fast. Hmm? It's a cool picture. Hmm? Wait, but but Jesus said, I saw I saw Satan fall like lightning from heaven. Huh? Hmm? Jesus said, I have given you authority hmm, to trample on snakes and scorpions and to overcome all the power, not some of it, all the power, not a quarter of it, and to overcome all the power hmm, of the enemy. Do you know who your enemy is? Stay in sin in the world. Jesus said, I give you power over these things. <laughs> I give you power over the enemy. Who wouldn't want that? <laughs> Some people like to be ruled by, by the enemy. <laughs> Jesus said, I give you power over him. <laughs> oh, and over his little minions or whatever. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You can stop on him. <laughs> you don't want to rule? You want to be ruled? I mean, you, you got the choice. <laughs> <laughs> Some people like to be low, lower or whatever. I don't know what that's about, but if you can come up, man, you better come up. What are you talking about? <laughs> Some people like to be rude. Uh, I don't know what that's about, but uh, you can rule over him if you want through Jesus Christ, through our, through God our Father, through, uh, who will allow you to. Through, he gave He gave Jesus the power. Jesus said He gave it to you. Uh, that great dragon called the serpent. Uh, called the devil Satan, who leads the whole world astray, was hurled to the earth and his angels with him. Then I heard a loud voice in heaven say, now have come the salvation and the power and the kingdom of our God and the authority of his Messiah for the accuser of our brothers and sisters who accuses them before our God day and night. That's all Satan do is accuse him. <laughs> the Holy Spirit will convict you. But Satan, all he do is accuse you. You ain't right. He point that finger. That's all he doing is accuse him. This and that point out your every little flaw. What you did, this you did. That's all he do is accuse him. <laughs> right. Dude, they, you can tell when people full up because they just accuse him <laughs> all the time. The Holy Spirit will convict you. Now, you listen, the Holy Spirit will convict you. <laughs> but Satan, he just accuse you. <laughs> point out every little th- single thing you're doing wrong. <laughs> All the time, and you're doing it before God, because he, he wants you to make he, he want to make you look bad, or something. Mm-hmm. You see what I'm saying? Word to the worst degree. Mm-hmm. Uh, right for the accuser of our brothers and sisters who accuses them before our God day and night has been hurled down. They triumphed over him by the blood of the Lamb, and you you, you triumph by the blood. Mm-hmm. And by the word of their testimony, people wonder why I hang on to the word the way I do. Listen, that's how you're going to get through this thing. You, 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 you triumph over Satan's sin in the world by the blood and the lamb. The air, 
they did not love their lives so much as to shrink from death. <laughs> I ain't backing down from death. Many people, they're afraid they hang on to what they got. <laughs> Where they, they back away from stuff. Hmm. They don't want to go through nothing. They they shrink back. Hmm. They go back. They scared to go through this, scared to go through that. Hmm. That's why they get whooped left and right. You 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 want you want to hang on to your life. You're gonna lose it. Hmm. I believe Jesus said those who want to keep their lives are gonna lose it. Huh? Hmm. The more you try to fight for the bull crap that you got, the, the more and more it take you away. Hmm. That make any sense to you. I don't got a problem disconnecting with nothing, with anything. Hmm. Where I, I will disconnect with any and everything except God my fault. You hear me? I could live without family, friends, material. I could live without all these things. I was born naked. I'm a die naked. It was God who gave me life. The people don't do nothing but have sex or whatever. They won't plan this and won't plan that. They didn't. They don't know who you forming this and that. It is God said before. I before what He told you, my before you was born, I knew you. God know you before you're born. I don't got children right now physically. If I if I if I ever am going to have uh, children, God already know who they is. Name. Birthday and everything. You see what I'm saying? I don't know nothing. All I can do is, is have uh, procreation. You get physical. You see what I mean? Be intimate with, with a female. You see what I'm saying? I'm not doing nothing. It's God who allowed the process to go through. You see what I'm saying? All glory, honor, praise go to him. Okay? I don't do nothing. All right, it ain't nothing I can do to make life. Or you can have many of y'all who, y'all got children and stuff, y'all, Y'all didn't do nothing, but just got intimate. It's God who make life come to reality, who take the, who take the egg and the sperm and, and make it go. You see what I'm saying? It's him who formed inside the womb. You're not doing nothing. You ain't in there doing this or doing that. It's him who's doing all these things. You see what I'm saying? All glory, honor, and praise go to my father. But many people are afraid of this and afraid of that. Uh, they, shrink, they shrink back. Uh, therefore, rejoice, you heavens. And you who dwell in them, but woe to the earth and the sea, because the devil has gone down to you. He is filled with fear because he knows that his time is short. Don't you know Satan ticked off? <laughs> he ran, ran like a chicken with his head cut off because he knows his time is short. He know he got to go somewhere very, very soon. Uh, it's been over 2,000 years. <laughs> God gave Satan a 6,000-year head start. <laughs> a thousand years is like a day to the Lord. <laughs> All right? <laughs> I understand that. It's very word. You might think it's been a long time, but it's very, very short. Okay? Mm. Do know this time is very, very short. And I can't, me personally, I can't wait to do and everything they got to do to do this. It's gone the heck away from him. Okay? Mm. When God make it all new again, mm. do that. It ain't going to be none of this bull crap going on. All right? And wherever the, the people go to, if you're on the other side, then you're on the other side. It ain't nothing no one could do for you. All right? Mm. It really ain't no tears gonna be shed or whatever, because God Himself said He's gonna wipe away every tear. You know what I'm saying? You wanna be on God's side. That's just my advice to you. Okay? <clears throat> well, I can say these people, they 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 know they know they gotta go somewhere very soon. All right. And me personally, I can't wait. I throw a party when they gone. Yep. Uh, straight up. When the dragon saw he had been hurled to the earth, he pursued the woman uh, who had given birth to the male to the male child. The woman was given two two wings of a great eagle so that she might fly to, to, to the place prepared for her in the wilderness where she would be taken care of for a time, times, and half a time. I don't know what this means right here. I don't think really nobody did uh, besides God. <laughs> All right. Uh, for a time, times, and half a time. You can sum up some people, some some theologians or some philosophers or scholars who, who think they understand this. Me personally, if I don't understand something, I'm going to tell you. Because mm, this is revelation. Re uh, revelation, the whole book of the Holy Quran is revelation. Mm, revelation from God Almighty himself. Mm, God will give you a revelation, but it's only him who can uh, teach you what the revelation means. Mm, what I understand, I understand. What I don't understand, I don't mind telling you I don't understand. I don't know what he's talking about. <laughs> I don't know everything. Mm. Someone asked him, do I know everything? No, I don't. <laughs> I can act like I know what he's talking about, but I don't. I'm going to tell you, I don't know what this means. All right? <laughs> uh, <clears throat> time, times, and half a time, out of the serpent's reach. Then from his mouth, the serpent spewed water like a river. To overtake the woman and sweep her away with the torrent. But the earth helped the woman by opening his mouth. 
uh, and swallowing the river that the dragon had uh, spewed out of his mouth. Then the dragon was enraged at the woman and went off to wage war against the rest of her offspring, those who keep God's commands and hold fast their testimony about Jesus. Amen. Mm -hmm. Wait up. Y'all hang on to the end. All right. No matter what you got going on, you know, especially the people of God, you know, you hang on to the end. All right. Mm -hmm. Wait up. Where that's a sign that you for him when you truly going through what you're going through. All right. When you're keeping God's commands and hanging on to your testimony about Lord Jesus, all right, the living word of God. When you're taking God's word, you got you by you triumphed over him by the word of their testimony. Word. When you got when you hang on to the word and keeping God's commands, the world say the sin don't like that. But who care what they like? <laughs> you keep on doing what you're doing, you know. Yeah, if you gotta die, you might as well die for a righteous cause. A whole lot of people die for nothing. You know, that's just stuff with slam toy. People die for nothing. If I'm gonna die, at least I'm gonna die standing up. Yeah, I'd rather die like a wood fifty seven, rather die like a man than live than live like a cow. All right. I, I respect that, appreciate that. That's how many people do. They die in fear. They die afraid, die and if they die in a little hole somewhere. You see what I'm saying? Not doing nothing. Where? Doing the whole time, they did nothing. Man, at least I at least I tried to do the best I could do. You see what I'm saying? Where where? Take me out, take me out. But damn they ain't going out quietly. You understand me? God bless y'all, man. And don't be afraid to stand up for the Lord. Like I said, you got to die one day. You might as well die for a righteous cause. So a lot of people die for nothing. Mm. It ain't nothing that, that can be said. Mm. I miss my great-grandma. Mm. Well, that, she did the best she could since 1969. Mm. She went home last year, over 50 years, man. Mm. Well, that, mm. it's a, a, little, it's a hell, heaven of a run. I got to stop saying that, that hell word. That's the heaven of a run. Well, right. mm. For sure. <clears throat> All right. But God bless y'all. Uh, y'all keep on asking God for the Holy Spirit. He's going to give it to you. It's the Holy Spirit leading you to Lord Jesus. Lord Jesus is going to lead us to be on our Father in heaven and get out of here one day. You dig? Mm -hmm. All right. Uh, I'm going to keep on praying for y'all. Y'all keep on praying for me too. And I will see y'all again. Amen. God bless y'all.